What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of the Scale News Update in 2021. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button and let's jump into this week's topics. Last week, ProLine started teasing another drag race body coming out. This looks like it's going to be a Chevy C10 drag pickup body. Now they only showed a single photo as has been tradition with ProLine with their early releases. One photo not showing the full picture, but kind of get the idea of where this is likely going. ProLine has had truck bodies available for the Slash or other short course trucks before, but none specifically designed to fit more of the normal narrow proportions of the drag cars that we're running now. So this is likely to have better overall proportions than previous options. Trucks, more than any other car, seem to get more of a reaction of bodies they should have done instead in the comments. Everybody said, you should have done this model Chevy or this model Dodge, just no matter what. It's something about you 88 to 98 Chevy truck owners that you got, just got to have that body. It's going to make a great drag truck. Everyone's going to buy it. For now, though, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how the classic looks of a C10 look as a drag truck. Next, circling back to the Axial SCX24 Betty. Now this is the SCX24 that was done as a commemorative addition to the Axial 15th year anniversary, where they made the special version with the Betty body. Each frame has a serial number on it and it came with a little commemorative coin. Now they had said that they were only making 9,999 of these and all of these have sold out on Horizons and Tower Hobbies website. Now that doesn't mean that they're sold out everywhere. They've just gone to the stores and everything like that. But it appears that Horizon has sold all of them at least once. Now they're gonna have to make their ways from dealers and distributors out to the general public. But pretty impressive to see that they sold all of those units that quickly. Now we have to see, do they come out with another version of the Betty SCX24 that's not serial numbered, maybe a different paint job on it? They, you know, they went through all the work to get the tooling of that body done. Are they really going to stop at that 10,000 unit mark? Or are they gonna just change it up a little bit and maybe make it not as special, but still available? I don't know, I have my thoughts, but we'll see what actually happens here. Next, I ran across this, and this is the Brutus body, which has said to be specifically designed for the Traxxas TRX4 in the 12.8 inch wheelbase. This is set up also for the use with the sport style shock towers, but this is a 1 8 inch thick aluminum body made for the Traxxas TRX4. Now it's not all out of aluminum. There is several printed parts or 3D printed parts that go on it, like the hood, some of the fender, the fender flares, but it's got a Jeep-esque grill and some very flat sides. It's got a very shallow interior that I think is all 3D printed as well. But again, 1 8 inch thick aluminum for all of the aluminum parts. So you're not gonna have to worry about breaking the aluminum parts. Now, the 3D printed parts for like the hood and the roof, things like that, I have my doubts on. But if you're looking for something that is different, here's an option. Now, the price on this starts at $150, but that doesn't actually include everything you see in these photos. There's an option for the etching around the door to make it look like a door. If you would like to buy the aluminum light buckets for the grill, that's separate. And the 3D printed parts aren't included. It says that you can have the 3D printed parts printed by them, or you can purchase the files. Now, if you have everything done, you get all of the options. This body set will cost you $340. I'm quite certain this will not be on the top of everybody's shopping list, but if it's on the top of yours, I'll link to where you can purchase this in the description below. You can go there and find all of the details as well as details for the rest of today's stories. Handful of weeks back, we discussed the new Cross Emo kits that were coming out and it appears that those have hit stateside and they're available in stock now. So if you were interested in one of those, there was two different RTRs and different color options. And then there was also a kit version. So if you've been waiting for one of those cross kits, I'll link to them below. You can go there if you need a refresher on the details on each of those kits, also noted in the links below. 
And also a few weeks back, we talked about the RC four wheel drive midnight edition TF2. This is a pre-painted version of the RC four wheel drive TF2 in an all black version. RC four wheel drive doesn't often sell pre-painted versions of their kits. Now this is pretty much the regular TF2 RTR kind of build set. So it is different from something like the Marlin crawler. Then if you've been looking for some carbon fiber drag racing chassis, Drag Race Concepts now has their DR10 specific chassis available for pre-order, as well as they've got the version of the Slash chassis that they also have. Now the Slash chassis I believe is available now, but the DR10 looks to be available soon. So if you're looking to go a little wild, build full out custom drag car, here's a chassis option for you. The DR10 options continue to keep rolling out. And speaking of DR10 options, J Concepts last week released two new brass parts Parts for the DR10. One is the servo bracket and one is the front chassis suspension bracket. These would be used to add some weight to the chassis, trying to keep the front of the vehicle on the ground. A number of the drag racing events are enforcing a minimum weight requirement. So if you try and cut a bunch of weight with fancy chassis or things like that, you may have to add weight back into it in other areas to meet the rules. Something to watch out for, check the big events that you're going to. It may or may not be something that is being enforced in the area where you're racing. On 3D Printing Sunday last week, we designed up a new piece for you to 3D print, and this is a vintage style gas pump. This has got a number of interesting features. It's made to light up the upper globe portion. You can either put in a Lexan piece on the top where you can add your own decal or paint, whatever you want to try and make that kind of classic light up look, or there's solid printable versions where you can kind of just put something so you can either add a decal or maybe not add anything at all. Either way, multi-piece design, something fun to 3D print. You can add it to your scale garage, your desk, wherever you're looking for. Files for those are on my Thingiverse, and I'll link, of course, to that in the description below. While the last couple of weeks have been a little bit slow with Christmas and then New Year's, this coming week is going to be absolutely slammed. I think I've got videos every day the rest of this week. So be on the watch out for those. Wednesday, of course, we've got a regular live stream takeover. Friday, we'll have a pretty fun live stream as well. Thursday, Saturday, a couple of videos coming out. Watch for those. While 2020 was a super rough year, it was a good year for RC. For 2021, I don't have super high hopes for everything just going back to normal anytime soon, but I think that it is going to be another big year for RC. A lot of people are gonna be looking for things to do, being able to just go out, enjoy their families, enjoy nature, whatever it is. And I think it's going to be a good year for that. For this week, I came up with some very broad predictions for 2021, but more than anything, I wanna hear what your guys' predictions are. I think, again, it's going to be a very popular year for RC. And with that, I think that Throughout the year, we're going to continue to see kind of a shortage on a lot of popular things. I think we're gonna see a high interest in the field and continue to make for those supply shortages in other areas. I also think that we're gonna to continue to see big changes in the market with the rising and falling or shifting of the popularity and demand of brands. I think we're gonna to continue to see a really interesting year for that as the industry continues to kind of move and mold and fall into these new patterns. And of course, we're gonna have new vehicles and new parts. And I think that area specifically would be great for you guys to make your predictions on what you think is going to come in the next 12 months. But that's gonna do it for this week's Scan News Update. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week. I hope you have an awesome rest of the year. Hope you come and join us every Tuesday for the Scale News Update. As always, I appreciate you spending your time here. With that, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.